See, they're about to do it anyway. I could give it to her. <laughs> uh, but I think Saya, if that happened, that'd be much worse. Uh, which one's Saya? Yeah, then pass on to... Oh, those Baelishes. Maybe I'd rather them be in charge. Wait. So there is a Saya, yeah? Yeah, Saya. It might be good for her to be High Lord because she has a claim on the kingdom. Um, her husband is a is matrilineal, so their kids all like that. I've set it up to kill the Dawn, so he'll become Paramount of Dawn. Huh, I guess I have no choice. <laughs> Which one actually worked then? Okay. Sir Eustace of the Gates of the Moon. Okay, I'm him now. Okay. Uh, it's proceeding well. A tragic carriage accident would claim her life a month from now. Okay. You will play Sir Benedict of the Middle of Point. Okay, so I gave it... Yeah, this didn't... This sort of didn't work out. <laughs> I might just mess it up in that one choice. Uh, huh. So what was my thinking here? So I'm him. I have middle of point. Okay, so I did give it to her. Okay. Yep, we did give it to her. Um, her son will inherit it. That's good. That's what I want. Okay, so that's fine. So maybe if I just let them win. Because if I take it, what do I really gain from that? Because, yeah, it's me, obviously, you have the High Lordship, but like I say, it's more the family. And I can... Shit, but I don't have the murder, do I now? Shit. <sighs> I can't murder them. That's uh, slightly annoying. He's married to a soul. She's married to a Blackmore, Blackmire. So I have to try and find a way to kill him now. God damn it! I keep doing these bloody uh, bravosi things, and I can never get the marriage done. And will they still keep to that marriage as well? Actually, that's a good point. Is her son? Plus, I don't see much point in me taking because I don't think I gain anything. Let's. Uh, for peace. Yep, surrender. I could win, like I say, but I don't see me gaining much from that. There we go. Family wise. Okay. It actually makes more sense for her to be in command. Probably should give it to these guys. So what's funny is I'm sort of back where I started. <laughs> if you look at it, I'm back at middle of point. But like I say, the more the more important thing here is the family is much better off. We got a guy in the King's Guard. Uh, we have we have the High Lordship. Obviously, we've got a son who's going to be married to Dawn and try and inherit it. Please do not break the betrothal. Please don't. And their kid died as well. Thank God. How long have they got left? Just till August. Uh, damn, but I can't do anything about him now. I can't kill him. Slightly not. Whatever happened to his son then? Um, I'm sorry, his uh, nephew. Okay, picture of the paps. Where are you? In Elisham. Oh, he's in the paps. Okay. No. Okay. So he still has that. God damn. So this is not going as I planned. Why well, usually true? It seems to be a lot of Ooh. And Sarah Sol named Sarah. She died stillborn. It seems to be for me because I always try and aim for high. I just completely put off my uh. 
I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, and King's Landing is an integral part of the title. It should be mine. <laughs> okay. I've been released from the dungeon. Okay. Now I can start plotting. Now we can start plotting. I've got 14. Meander Baelish. Okay, I can sort out these marriages then. Try and get some sneaky marriages then. He's just trying to assassinate though. Hope for, I really hope they keep to that marriage. There's such. Oh, he's dead. How did he die? Died in an accident. Now the thing is, though, will they accept the marriage? Most likely not. Most likely not. Most likely they're not going to accept. Okay. This isn't going as I planned, but she is a better position to be High Lordship. Independence faction. Ooh, that's always an interesting faction to have in the Seven Kingdoms because a lot of people, a lot of the parents like that faction, and they'll generally join it. Usually splits up everyone, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. See who else joins them. Uh, you want me to be Master Arms? Okay. Makes sense. Okay, it's August. Since I came to the Sons of Keep, we've never had a shortage of soldiers. The sword in my hands seems heavier and heavier every year. When is her birthday again? 24th. Come on, marry, marry. Please get married. Come on, she's 14. Marry her. Marry her. Do it now. Maybe it's because I'm clicked on it. Let's, let's go back and check. Please be married. Yes. He's married. And he's already a Lord of Brandstone. Ooh. So we now have Dawn in our hands. If he can get her pregnant, we have Dawn. Okay, things are going good. We now look like we might have Dawn in our hands. The family own all the fingers, now I think about it. <laughs> so instead of being one little finger, we are now all the fingers. Just thought about that. We still have claims on the throne, we still have claims on the veil. We just need people to support us. And I now have a lot of daughters who I could probably marry off. Huh. He still owns both, okay. He's definitely a very powerful man. Osney of Northweld. Can be a good guy to have on your side. And he's married to my sister, which is great. So we're married actually to one of the most powerful men. So we should have an ally with him. Yes, we do. Tawny of the Paps. We will come. It's too bad I can't see what the... It's too bad you can't see what other countries are factions. Veilman's claim... Lady Paramount mirror the Riverlands. Oh, no. Veilman claim on the Riverlands. So wait, you have a claim on the Riverlands? Oh, you do. Interesting. Okay, we could see the Riverlands pass to the Vale. Uh, this is a big war, actually. The Starks. That would put Starks in a bad position. It'd be annoying for me because I want the Riverlands. Or at least someone to rise up for one of my family members. That's annoying. Obviously, though, don't really want it to pass on to the Homewoods. That would be slightly upsetting. <laughs> uh, children are... They're Northmen, actually. They've been raised as Northmen. Okay. And the old gods. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put my money on the Riverlands. Like I say, it's always surprising how many men they can raise. The Vale can usually raise quite a few as well, but I feel the Riverlands probably has the edge. Did they bring in any allies? Oops. 
No, they did not. Okay. It looks as though the Riverlands is winning. So Tristan Pryor plays second. Ah, good for him. It's not too bad a soldier. Sir, Ru Sir Simon Pryor came third. Who came first then? Hello, who came first? Ah, my son oh, was vanquished in the early rounds. Uh, who came first then? <laughs> so Petra failed to display the full prowess during the tourney. Uh, okay, was soundly beaten in the later list. Let's see, how did the... Okay, still got all daughters. She's still betrothed to Petra, so we could still inherit the sword into our family. Okay. I want that sword. We want Lady Fall on. Looks like we are losing. They're going to lose that battle. It's not looking good. What were you thinking, Tim? Tim the Great. Uh, that's probably not the words I would use. Her, Pair of the Veil. Could always marry her. It's never bad. And we've got no one of the family that could marry her. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we should probably marry Belmore. Let's uh, arrange a betrothal. Nice straight. It's always good to have a strong song on your side. There we go. Club's an ally. Ah. In a way, this is quite good, actually. I'm not going to cause too much problems for my the High Lordship. Um, so that's good for her. She can also put in her own plots in. Sort of whatever she wants to do. Uh, well, I also saw my own. So actually, this could work for both of us, actually. Baelish is, though, getting quite influential. And will soon be... Oh, they've already had a kid. Yes. The future possible queen. Oh, no, she will be queen, won't she? Because the girls are equal to the boys. Aglatine will be queen of dawn. That's good. Then we've got Paramancy. That's what we've been waiting for. Won't be controlling her, but that's always a start. It's going quite well, actually. Huh. I was hoping it'd be a bit further along by now. I was hoping by now I'd have a Paramancy. But you can't always get what you want. Unforeseen circumstances. Things don't always go your way. Oh, the Umbars. A lot of kids there. He's had a son. Yeah, ooh, looks like they've actually fought back. Okay, they're going to win that battle, it looks like. And we put them down to minus 15%, so it's not going as bad as it was. How many men are there? 2,000 as well there, 3,000 coming up. The Rivlands could, the Veil, so he could actually bring this back. I didn't see how they did, though. He must have been able to obtain some more men. How's she doing? Best want kids. And the withers, the new Lord Palmets of the Reach. Not doing too bad. And the delicate shell. <laughs> the delicate shell of the Westlands. He's married matrilineal. A Shermer, a Reachman, could will inherit, sorry. The Westlands. Wow, that was a why would you name your second son the matrilineal? No wonder you're bloody the delicate shell. You're an idiot. Okay. We're actually winning now. Wow. 12,000 man army there, 4,000 for them. Quite a lot of old guys. For the grey joys. I'm good brother, sorry. Ooh. She needs to get married. But then again, it's all boys, isn't it? Just remembered. Need to marry a matrilineal boy or something. Ah, to even have a chance of inheriting. Lord Albert for the fingers. What is wrong with you guys? Constantly just trying to bring more people in. 
We don't need someone different. You changed the High Lord. Come on. Hopefully, do you know what? This might actually be better. Sire, you actually keep them in line. Hopefully, you keep them happy. It might be good for us. Did she marry off any of the kids? Okay, she's in the paps for some reason. She married her off. A went. That's quite funny. I was actually looking at the went. So, that's quite interesting that she married, decided to marry them in the end. Riella Stone. Hmm, okay. Humphrey Baelish. He's old enough to marry. Oh, he's the genius and attractive one. Didn't turn out too bad. Former wives. What? Why is that? What? This is confusing. Why the hell is he... Okay, let's go look what's going on in Helen and Dawn. What the hell is going on? Okay, his daughter. He died. Ah. Oh, that is a shame. That is a absolute shame. Oh, but she is now... Have, she now has the Lordship of Bramstone. Ah. Maybe... Whoa, what a cold. I did not even realise. <laughs> Maybe we could, uh, damn it, if only I had another son. I could sneakily marry her because we're family, she might accept. Okay, so she's now married normally another Baelish. Wow. And that's the genius objective one. Sadly, their kids aren't going to inherit Dawn. That's a shame, but she, she will inherit Dawn. Hopefully, we need to keep her safe. Then again, I guess if she does die... Humphrey will, Humphrey's kids will. Okay, that's worked out quite well. Phew. See, the High Lordship knows what she's doing. Yeah, I, I trust you. Saya, I trust you. You've done a good job. Of old stones. Okay. Okay, I trust my High Lordship. She's doing a good job, I have to admit. We might actually beat the Riverlands. Ooh, the Westlands are coming. Wow, okay, yeah, we're definitely going to win. Didn't know even that the Westlands are coming in to help the Vale. Well, that looks... This look is probably going to be over. Riverland men coming from the north. I'm sure she has Torrent Square as well. Whatever happened to you? Duncan of Bear Island. Not much, really. Okay. You set the title of Lordship of the Sisters. Okay, Sunderland. Maybe uh, we could marry them. Maybe I could marry him to one of my daughters. Okay. Who do I have left then? I'm sure I had more kids. I have her who's betrothed. Okay. Her who's married. Okay, if we forgot to her back. Okay. His father is. Ah, Crow's Baron. Okay. And the oldest daughter's married to a black. Oh, yeah, Blackmire. Okay. Hagman. And did I marry him? Yeah. She was already married to Sarasaur. Veilman. Okay. Daughter of him. Lord Ustius. Scorched Veil. Vale. Okay. Not the best marriages for my kids, but like I say, the Dornish one's the most important one. Will not be inherited, sadly. That's bad. Okay. Oh. Let's have to check those. Let's see how my brother's doing. Still in white sword. What would be great to imagine that if we had a if there was a war for the iron like someone did it for my inheritance, let's say, because I do have a claim on the Iron Throne. If someone did it for me and he went and killed the king, that'd be great. You know, he does have the arbitrary trait. So maybe. Damn, he's not in line. 
<laughs> I really want him to be next in line. That'd be awesome. The King's Lord Commander of Baelish. Can you imagine that? Oh, it looks like the Riverlands are fighting back. 12,000 men there, though. They shouldn't get their hopes up. I, I would say this is all one and this is all done and one really. We should win the Riverlands, which will be interesting. It give me way more people to marry as well, many more possible alliances. Could be much more, might make a lot more possibilities. 